Hello, special update on Invest 92L, located in the Central Atlantic at 3pm UTC on June 17th. It had winds of 30 miles an hour and a pressure of 1,008 millibars. It's at 5.8 degrees north, 41 degrees west, and no warnings are in effect at this time. But as you can see, the system is expected to move towards the west or west-northwest and could affect South America or Trinidad or the uh, Windward Islands, the rest of the Windward Islands, into the Eastern Caribbean. Over the next few days, um, the model majority says that we may see a tropical storm, it will be weak, though the HWRF for instance has been saying that it could become a hurricane, but we don't think that's going to occur, it is an outlier. Uh, but the track appears to be pretty clear cut, moving towards the northwest, passing very close to Trinidad, I'm not sure whether it's going to be north or south yet, and it could potentially make the furthest south landfall in the Atlantic, apart from Martha in 1969 in Panama. This is what it looks like right now. You can see the system there on the left hand side moving towards the west right down there um, at around 5.8 degrees south, 816 miles east northeast of Cayenne in uh, Guyana. Uh, French Guyana. Uh, over the next few days the system is expected to move towards the west northwest as I said and as you can see we expect it to become a tropical storm maybe late on Sunday possibly into Monday and then moving towards the Windward Islands of the Lesser Antilles into Monday and then by the end of Monday it will enter the Eastern Caribbean and possibly remain a tropical storm for a little while longer before weakening substantially into a tropical, tropical depression and then the remnants may move towards Jamaica. Uh, right now sea surface temperatures are very warm indeed, look at that, around 28 degrees Celsius or so and warm waters will continue all the way throughout this system's passage. And the wind shear is low right now but it is going to increase by the looks of things substantially over the next few days, especially when it nears the islands. Uh, so by the time it does get there it will be almost certainly on a weakening trend. Here's the close-up then, the close-up floaters on what the system is doing right now. Um, it's entered the GO16 area, so we do have the proper imagery now at the regular time intervals. And as you can see, the rotation's been increasing slightly over the last few frames. No clear circulation yet, which is why it's not a tropical depression. Once it does get a clear circulation, I do imagine that it will become a tropical depression um, with winds of 30 miles per hour or more, and then intensification may continue over the following days. Not too much in the way of thunderstorms in this system just yet. You can see the water vapor imagery there looking slightly dry, but it has been battling with the Saharan air layer. Looking in the Western Caribbean, this is what we have right now. You can see the Western Atlantic, that new area of interest. Um, as you can see, the wider area of thunderstorms have been affecting Jamaica and Cuba significantly. It looks like that's going to peter out and it looks like something new is developing now just north of Honduras, which is where this system is going to develop. Could become a tropical cyclone in the next few days. Both of these systems are covered on Force 13's SUS page, S-E-W-S. -S. Take a look at and that will have your latest updates. Water vapor, by the way, looking at the Gulf of Mexico there, looking pretty dry. Uh, so this system will have to develop in the Caribbean by the looks of things, otherwise it's going to have a pretty difficult time. 2017 so far has produced two depressions, 17 tropical storms, three Category 1s, one Category 2, two Category 3s, one 4 and one 5. In terms of numbers, we're just below average. In terms of accumulated cyclone energy, we're way below average in ACE. Uh, the lowest to date since 1954. We're at 25 tropical storms so far, 31 is the number set by 1900, obviously observations weren't so good back then, it'll be some time yet before we find a, a recent year in that table. That's all for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, that's F O O L 1 3 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.